This week, meet Anusha Ansari, an extraordinary woman who turned a childhood fascination into a dream come true. When I was really young, maybe just four or five years old, and uh, uh, summer nights we would sleep outside because it was cooler that way. And um, you know, I loved to just gaze at the night skies and watch the stars. I thought to myself that uh, you know, perhaps the answer to all these questions that we ask ourselves all the time is out there and the more we know about it the, the more we will learn about ourselves and, and that's what started my you know interest in space and the more I learned the more I wanted to know and uh, it has continued I still want to know more as a teenager in Iran my life changed a lot because the revolution happened the environment changed the way we had to dress up uh, to be outside you know we had to wear head covers a lot of the individual freedoms that we had started to get limited. Still we had high hopes right after the revolution that this is just temporary and things will change for the better. And uh, the more time passed, the worse it got. Uh, when I found out that our immigration paperwork has been finally approved after 10-12 years, I think uh, um, I was excited to start a new life and study something I really loved. And you know, I was in love with space. I figured I would be in the United States. I can become an astronaut. Anusha excelled in school in the United States and was set to go to college and study astrophysics far away from her home in Virginia. But her mother didn't want to let her child go, so Anusha instead chose George Mason University to be closer to her family. And she chose a different path, electric engineering. Even uh, from the moment I took this different path into engineering, I kept uh, space alive. I knew that at some point in time I will um, go back to that dream and passion of mine and do something about it. When I graduated and started working for my current husband, since then we've worked together for many years starting new companies. We've been very fortunate and very successful. I named all our conference rooms after stars and galaxies and everything. So every corner of my room or the, my environment would remind me of this love of space. I remember uh, the day um, they announced that Dennis Tito who was the first person that flew with um, Space Adventures uh, to space. Um, and I was watching the, the TV on CNN and just thinking to myself, you know, if everything else fails, I just need a lot of money to be able to do what he's doing. Anusha met Peter Diamandis, the founder of XPRIZE a foundation that fosters high-profile competitions that motivate people and companies to innovate. They teamed up to offer the Ansari X Prize, a $10 million award to a spacecraft built to offer space flights to private citizens. Through this competition, Anusha was invited to join Space Adventures in Russia while they trained for their next space flight. If this wasn't already an incredible experience, just three weeks before launch, Anusha's lifelong dream came true. I was packing my bags to go home and they said you've trained really hard we feel you're ready for the trip if you want to go it's yours and I think I screamed so loud the person was next to me probably blew an eardrum or something. I kept thinking that you know it's like right before the launch I will panic I was waiting for that moment of panic to come I, I thought for sure in the morning when I wake up and I have to start dressing up for the mission that it will you know hit me and I was dressing up I was getting ready and the smile was on my face the only reason I can contribute to the fact that I just didn't believe it was happening I thought you know I'm gonna wake up then this whole thing would have been a dream that flight to the space station. It took about two days. I was so excited that I forgot all the training, all the things that I shouldn't be doing, I was doing. I was flipping, I was going up and down and moving very fast, and I felt like I was, you know, made to live in space, and I didn't want to go back from the moment I slipped into space station. Going to space has made me someone who's looking at the bigger picture. I imagine that every place in the world can be a home for me and all these lines we draw on the maps are only on those pieces of paper because we put it there. When you look at it from space, they're not there. Somehow uh, floating in space over this window, looking at, down at Earth and thinking that everything that makes me, you know, me, my memories, my home, my friends, family, everything's right there and I'm floating up here and looking. It felt like an out-of-body experience. My walls and computer screens has always been filled with images of Earth 
from space and seeing it with my own eyes was completely different and it felt really alive and I could feel sort of a warmth and energy coming from earth and it, I just started crying. At that moment all I could think that you know only if others could see this and feel this feeling uh, how our world would be different and how people will live a different life and uh, I really wish someday it will become more accessible to everyone and I tell people we should definitely send our world leaders to space because their policies will be much different than the policies they have today. I got approval to do the first blog from space. I wanted to have millions and millions of people reading it and commenting on it, especially a lot of women from all over the world, and especially a lot of women from Iran, which meant a lot to me, knowing that they're following my trip, that they're excited about it, that it has meaning to them, that it's uh, inspiring them to go after their dreams. It's important for young girls to go after what they want to do after their dream and at least give it a try. We are the ones who put the limitation on ourselves and limit what we can do uh, or sh we think we should do. It will be a very fulfilling life if we try new things every day, learn new things every day, and sometimes the things we learn will make us ch want to change ourselves or change direction in our lives. And you know, taking those chances and making those changes will keep life very interesting.